Hello everybody, MC here today. So guys, today I'm gonna listen to four scary stories. Guys, I wanna say something. I'm sorry for the song from the Halloween song, Don't Blame the Kids. I didn't like how it turned out, but I'm planning to make a remake, but not. But tomorrow there's gonna be a different song for it. Well, it's not gonna be the remake for it. I am planning to do the remake, but maybe a little bit longer so yeah guys but guys let's um listen to the story last year i had a classmate who didn't like to socialize mm. i was the only one who spoke to her one day she messaged me an article about cat abuse knowing that i had a cat i replied to her saying Wow, that's literally insane. She then started pretending she was close to me and continued to send articles about cat abuse. Okay, one, that's not your friend. Sorry, guys, I dropped my phone. Two, that's disgusting. Three, can I call the police on her? Can I? This is wrong and nasty. So let's begin. ...or pictures of dead such as road-killed cats. Feeling uncomfortable, I slowly began to avoid her. And one day, I suddenly felt like she took a picture of me. While she left her seat, I decided to secretly check- Yes, snoop on her and send the pictures to you so you got evidence to call the police. I would. Her cell phone. Surprisingly, the phone was not locked. So I could easily enter her photo gallery. And then what I saw was horribly shocking. There were over 80 photos of me that I didn't even know she took. Pervert. She's a pervert. I got goosebumps when I saw the folder's name. It had my name. And there was one more folder. Cat which contained pictures of dead bodies and the several articles that my friend had sent me. Ugh. She's not your friend. She's trying to... She's a disgusting person. This story is about my friend's sister. The friend's family was living in a large apartment complex. One day, his sister went out, and this incident happened at that moment. Her ex-boyfriend, who was waiting for her, hit her on the head with a piece of sidewalk block oh, and God. just killed her. The security ran towards them in surprise, but he ran away, went up to the roof of another apartment complex, and killed himself on the spot. God, Lord. Guys, I will say this. If you have an ex who's great and who has a uh, crazy police call the police or get a strain order from them after that there were two memorial altars set up for both the woman and the man and mm. ironically they were located right next to each other and meanwhile the bereaved family of the man insisted on this they told my friend's family let's join their souls in marriage is that a real thing? I don't think so, man. But is that a real thing, guys? Comment down below is that true or not. I might look it up soon. My friend's parents panicked. So they eventually fought with the bereaved family of the man, cursing at them. He told me later that everyone in the memorial altar went crazy that day. One of my teachers told us about a dream she had. She had a dream about three or four years after her grandfather passed away. In her dream, it was raining hard and her grandfather, who completely got wet, tried to pass his socks to my teacher. That's a weird dream. Why are your grandpa's giving you socks? Even though she loved him very much, she kept refusing because she didn't want to receive them for some reason. Then suddenly, the view abruptly changed, and my teacher was in the car. Okay. She was driving through a very big tunnel. At some point, she started dozing off, pressed on the brake, and then woke up. She thought it was just a strange... 
That's a horrible dream. Dream at first. Another day, she was driving in a car with her husband. She usually doesn't sleep when she's in the car, but she started dozing off in the front passenger seat on that day. Okay. When she woke up, she found that the place they were passing through was the same big tunnel she saw in her dream. That's coincidence. God Lord help me. And her husband was falling asleep next to her as well. Being startled, she immediately woke her husband up and they returned home safely. You owe my scratch! God Lord! Is something with that weird dream. She suddenly remembered her dream. So she visited an expert to get any advice on dream interpretation. And the story goes like this. When you receive an item from a person who passed away, then you will die. Anyway, my teacher soon forgot about it for several years, until seven years had passed. That day was the day they were going to change the place of her grandfather's grave, and- Wait, is that a real thing you can change somewhere when- I don't know, is that a real thing? Please guys comment down below, is that a real thing or not? The moment when they opened his coffin, they could see his wet body was oh floating in water. The strange thing was that the flesh had not yet raw- Where's his shoes? Did he actually came out and get her? Where his shoes? She could see that the body had a bit of volume. God Lord. She ended up thinking that her grandfather, who had been standing in the rain in a dream, might have wanted her to know of his current condition. However, this wasn't the only surprise. It turned out that it wasn't only her. Other relatives had the same dream. Uh, last story, guys. This isn't a scary story, but I've been the clumsy type ever since I was a child. Okay. So accidents used to happen a lot. And... Well, I can be clumsy, but sometimes it can be very dangerous. Once, I almost died. I was the girl who really loved animals, so without thinking, I walked onto a road where cars were moving crazy fast. No! Why your parents not with you or somebody's with you? God Lord, guys, if you have kids, keep an eye on them. I didn't put much thought into the things I did when I was a child. However, as soon as I stepped in, I heard several voices coming from behind me. Watch out! Really? Surprised, I fell backward and fortunately wasn't on the road. But when I looked back, there was no one behind me. My big brother was there, and with a t I don't believe that was your brother who said, What jail? Careful voice, he said. Hey, what if you got hurt? You shouldn't let go of my hand. My brother came out of the store and ran towards me right away. Oh, that's sad. So that must mean that my brother was the only one who called out to me at that moment. However, I then heard dozens of people calling out to me, yelling, Watch out. Okay, that's a weird thing, but ah, oh, I can't believe you, what your brother was doing. You listen to your brother. So guys, I hope you guys like this scary story. Please guys comment down below what other scary stories do you want me to hear or what video. Actually, one of my friends suggested me to watch a video called Have Fun with Uncle Stanley, I think. I don't know what it is, but I'm afraid they're gonna get me, uh, give me a heart attack because I don't like scary things. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, guys, like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So, guys, this is MC signing out. Bye, guys.